What's up guys, Marby here bringing you another review video and I'm super excited to bring you this which is the Drobo 5N2 Network Attached Storage System. So uh, obviously as you can see this is the packaging that it is going to come with. It's going to come with everything you need. It's going to come with the actual Drobo unit. It's going to come with um, some quick start manuals and, and some startup guides. It's going to come with a Drobo uh, little baggie, also a Drobo sticker and it's going to come with all the power cords and two ethernet cords that you do need uh the only thing you need to buy separately is actual drives um to 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 attach to this storage bay so there you have it there is the actual drobo unit itself it's the five and two model so uh it's gonna have the interface of two gigabit ethernet ports which is really nice because the two ports actually lets you um they're, they're kind of bonded together I, I guess in a trunking mode so you're gonna get twice the read write speed uh, than you would if you just had a single port and they can also be um, used as provided connection to do different subnets so if you want to share it across uh, two different networks then you can do that um, and they also can do a active passover mode which means that if, if one fails then the other one can pick it up and you're not going to lose your connections some pretty cool stuff uh, that you can get on kind of a consumer home office grade network attached storage device now just looking at the unit itself as you can see it's all black it has a faceplate on it which you can actually just take off it's magnetic very nice as you can see in there i have three Ter uh, two terabyte drives in there uh, right now as you can see there's definitely room for uh, two more all you have to do is push the drive in and it connects you don't have to worry about any cabling wiring anything just push it in and it works uh, I can easily just untab this and bring it out um, and then if I want to put this uh, back on you just magnetic right on now on the bottom there's LED lights it gives you the power indicator um, and, and also when this is connected I'll show you some pictures and a video later on uh, that it's going to show up with some green uh, saying that it is actually working and connected up. Now in the back, back here you can see the the two gigabit ethernet ports on the very bottom there's a power on and on off button and then there's also a uh, obviously a, a fan kind of unit and then also the power cord uh, plugs in right there. So I'm going to name off some stats about this thing. It's it's a beast. It, it really works well. I've been using this for about three months now, and uh, it, it's kind of my network attached storage. Uh, I, I also back up my pictures on there as a as a I, I guess a third backup. So once again, this accepts all in industry standard MSATA SSDs as well as hard drives. I have a uh, three I have three hard drives in there, but you could also upgrade to a SSD if you want even faster. So the really cool thing about this is that it can accept a uh, three and a half inch drive bays for hard drives or SSDs, but then there's also an accelerator bay which is going to accept industry standard MSATA SSDs. So if you want an even faster drive to connect to this, you can put that on there and uh, it, it's going to be, you know, you still have all five of the three and a half inch drive bays available. Now there's also a thing, uh, when you download this, there's going to be a software and uh, you can you can control everything you can add users admin administrators and give them rights and you know read write permissions and all that cool stuff on the actual uh, the drobo software page there's also a thing called my drobo which is kind of like applications you can run i haven't messed with this stuff yet i'm just using this as a storage array and then i have some users set up so uh some other people in my household can actually get on and and do stuff with it something that's included with this which is really cool is that you can set it up um to to make an offline copy of your data so this is very simple set up i actually did this it replicates your data to another 5n2 ensuring data availability in a case of a disaster so a fire something a flood you know anything happens um then it's going to have a backup copy of that on you know like on, on the cloud so real fast i'm just going to name off some stuff off their website some specs and uh some features that you might be interested in so it has some beyond raid features uh thin provisioning instant expansion mixed drive size utilization automatic protection levels single or dual disk redundancy virtual hot spare uh data aware drive reordering and uh, it can support up to 64 terabytes of file system 
and uh, so it has the lights and status lights to, uh, to as management and uh, the, the software that is used is called the Drobo dashboard if you want to download that and check it out it supports operating systems of Microsoft Windows 10, 8, 7 and then Mac o and then Apple Mac OS X 10.10 or higher it's going to be a two-year warranty and the size and weight is kind of a very small desktop factor I would say this is uh, the size of a UPS it's actually pretty heavy so it is 5.9 inches by 7.3 by 10.3 and it's around eight and a half pounds without the hard drives or a power supply so definitely is going to get around that 10 pound plus range uh, but you know you should find a safe location to uh, to mount this and just leave it so yeah definitely uh, I will show you how to plug it in right now sorry about any noise uh, that is my computer and some other servers running in the background all right so basically I am keeping my drobo unit right here let's get these back so if you put it down right here you can see the two gigabit ethernet ports and also the power so uh, let's plug in this and I enabled these on my uh, Cisco switch so these both run and uh, Right there, you're doing the power, it's already powered on. These will uh, get a connection, there you go, they get in green, and then they'll, uh, they'll get their connection status updated. Turn it around, and right now uh, the lights are yellow because it's still uh, getting connection. As you can see, these are the power LEDs. Still uh, kind of restarting itself right now. You can take the faceplate off so you can see the drives inside again with the lights. Now it did take a long time to actually uh, to, to do my review about this because I was kind of, um, I wasn't sure if this would be a good solution or would actually work because I've tried some of these other uh, network attached storage devices before and they just don't, they don't work like you want them to but this definitely does. Uh, you plug them in, you have all that management, this is one of the first management, uh, you know at this price point that you get this management that you can do. Um, it, it's very easy to connect. Now another cool thing about this is that it can actually uh, make it so that both of these drives uh, can connect together so it's basically replicating the same data and then have the other drive just uh, you know be an extra storage drive but as you can see three green lights I have three drives in there so everything's fine it has the green light down here you see the blue LED indicators right there so I am ready to go I can always add two more and then if I wanted to buy the the drive it accelerator that I can have at M SATA SSD as well. So this has been another review video, Marble out.